Welcome once again to the Jason Ruder Show here on the Bear Network. I'm your host, Gary Ormis. We begin to talk about Bradley Central basketball as we keep moving on later into the season. We're in the postseason now. We've accomplished one of our goals. We'll ask Coach about in a minute, but Coach, before we start, I always like to let you introduce the player you brought with you and tell us a little bit about what this player has meant to the program. Certainly. i got Tatiana Stovall here. She's a junior. Um, started every game for us this year. You ask me what does she mean to the program. Well, first of all, uh, she's a very good person and a good teammate. That's probably the most important stat that I can give you. Right. We talked just yesterday, this basketball, we talked with the team about tournament time. All we can do is give all we got and have no regrets, and uh, someday the ball will quit bouncing, and, and you'll look back, and I will say that Tatiana Stovall will be considered a good teammate, number one. So other than that, she may be the best rebounder I've ever coached. So and that's saying a lot, and uh, I'm bragging on her here, not because she's sitting with me. I've got the stats here. She's playing uh, 23.8 minutes a game, shooting 59% from the field, and she's averaging nine rebounds a game. Now, you say, well, nine's a big number, and I, I just put her in a category by herself as maybe the best rebounder I've ever coached. Mm -hmm. She's averaging nine playing less than three quarters. You understand? Mm -hmm. There's girls out there that are averaging nine or ten, but they're probably playing 29 and 30 minutes a game. You prorate that out. She's you prorate well, it yeah. out, and uh, that's the thing. It's impressive. And, and she's also playing with a teammate who's getting – of uh, seven and a half rebounds a game. So Tati is, has a nose for the ball, and she's a, a very good competitor. And uh, she just, you know, God's blessed her with a lot of ability, a lot of size, and uh, she's coachable, and she wants to win, and very unselfish. Sometimes I get on her. She may not admit this, but sometimes I tell her, you know, you've got to shoot the, you know, she's, she's passing out to a teammate. I think she should be forcing more. And the reason is, uh, she's shooting 59%. So I tell her sometimes, go ahead and shoot it instead of pass it out. Yeah. She may have conflicting thoughts in her head, I don't know, but we'll let her expand on that in just a moment. But What's her scoring average? She's yeah. averaging 12 and a half points a game there and uh, nine rebounds, and, and she leads the team in blocks with 50. And that's a, that's a very daunting task. You know, each night I'm leaving something out here, maybe the most important set of all, and it's not a stat. It's one of those intangibles. Each night, she pretty much gets the best opponent from the other team. She's a stopper. Would you agree with that? Most nights, she gets the best opponent. And here's the thing about Tatiana. It may be a post. It may be a guard. Mm -hmm. we can, she's very versatile. She can play both positions. And, uh, well, I'm going to knock on wood. She's been in foul trouble a handful of times, but out of 28 games, I don't know, maybe five or six, you've yeah. been in foul trouble? Yeah. So that's great yeah. compared to what you're asking her to do. Oh, it's unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, Tatiana's a shot blocker by nature. You know, you ever had the little rubber ball and you get the, see, I've got a Yorkie at home and her name is Shay. And you get that ball out, those eyes open, those ears go up. <laughs> yeah. Tatiana has a nose for the ball. She wants to get her fingers on it and be able to stay out of foul trouble. She's done an A-plus rating, A-plus rating. Very proud of her. When you're not playing basketball in a game or you're not practicing, what do you do to have fun at home or in town or whatever? I mean, you have, I ask the guys that other gamers, that's all they want to do. They're gamers, gamers, gamers. Mm -hmm. do, do you have something that you like to do just to forget about basketball and relax at home? Okay. Um, I watch Netflix, hang out with the girls, and then I do TikToks. Typical yeah. young lady that would do that. Uh, of course, everybody knows about your twin brother, your older twin brother, who's 45 minutes older, by mm -hmm. the way. That's uh, Reese, of course, Ty Reese, we call him Reese, but uh, uh, we've won the district, you know, and we're home as long as we keep winning, and that's got to mean a whole lot to you. Uh, couldn't ask for a better setup for our team, our girls, and have that. Seven days between games, Tatiana, has he changed your routine uh, from a normal Tuesday, Friday game since you have a whole week between games? Did you take, have some days off and just relax and chill out and not have to worry about basketball for a day or two over the weekend? Yeah, we've had the weekends off, but the whole week is about basketball, you know, getting prepared for yep. region and stuff. Well, it's winter go home now. It's that point in the season where it's elimination time. Mm -hmm. uh, and I always like to ask the players in every sport I talk about, 
what would you like to be better at? Is it one thing he says, well, if I could do this a little better, would I I'd be a more effective teammate? Or is there anything? You, you're never satisfied with the game. If you're satisfied with the game, then you're you're going backwards, I think. But uh, mm -hmm. uh, anything in particular you'd like to be better at? Definitely shooting. Shooting. And free throws. Well, okay. See, yeah. <laughs> Free throw percentage has not been the best. You know, no. you have some streaks where you hit dead on, others where, you know, it's everybody that way, though, so, you know. Well, she didn't hesitate, did she? No, no, she knew. Yeah, like, you know, it's no secret that Tatiana has got to, she's been working at it. She's improved lately. Uh, I've noticed a little of the things that you may not pay attention there on the sideline on the radio. I'm watching her in practice. Her focus is better. She's shooting better in practice. And we, we've got proof in the game she's shooting better. Uh, and that's, you know, that's a... Everybody's got a weakness, right? And uh, sure. boy, I, you know, I told I told a reporter this year they were talking. I think she had a rough night, went over four from foul line or something, one for five. I said, yeah, she misses a few free throws, but I said, you know, the thing is, most people don't even get to the foul line. That's She's right. getting there. Yeah. So Tatiana draws a lot of fouls because of her being around the rim and getting rebounds, and 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 uh, I got a feeling that uh, this girl right here next to me, I believe, is going to keep working. And as long as here's what the great ones understand, Gary. And a lot of people don't get this either. Getting better is just it's little increments, just so small that just almost don't even recognize with the eye. But after a few weeks, a few months, maybe this is years. Mm -hmm. What you see here next to me, this is a girl who's been working for years. So this ain't like put it in the microwave, and boom, I'm going to shoot 75 percent from the foul line. Right. It takes it takes a while, and luckily. For me, and luckily for her, she's she's got all the physical attributes. She just got to keep on working, and uh, you know the, the old adage is, you know, nobody's going to give you nothing. Nobody's going to hand her seventy-five percent foul shoot. She has to go right. work for it, right. and Coach Ritter has to help her. So, but I'll take her the way she is. I'll tell you that. Oh yeah, absolutely. Every day, uh, I, I saw a quote. Uh, you talk about her rebounding and, and Kamora's rebounding and stuff like that. I saw a quote. Uh, attributed to Pat Summit, and I don't think I've mentioned this on the air before, but she said, offense sells tickets, defense wins your games, rebounding wins your championships. And that's coming from someone who won way more games than most anybody else has won, you know. And uh, I thought, man, that's, that's a pretty profound statement there. But, you know, you can have an off-shooting night. You can have a poor yeah, shooting night. What you going to have? But you get to rebound, you still got a chance to. Eight national it. championships, I believe, yep. Pat Summit. And if you she don't won get eight national team. championships. So, yeah, she was a. I've studied her a little bit, and uh, she got her. We're all just creatures of, we're, we're barring, you know, they say good coaches bar, great coaches steal. Mm -hmm. So Pat Summit was very attuned to paying attention to what winners did, and uh, there's people still emulating what she did today. So yeah, we're, yeah. we're all just passing knowledge down, passing it down. and Not inventing anything, you know. Well, sometimes people come up. Yeah, most 99% of us are just passing knowledge down, but... Uh, There'll be some innovation that goes on. The game, you've heard people say the game is passing by, or the game is, you know, we see a lot more, uh, you know, we have here a girl who can play face in the back the basket or back to the basket. So, so many kids today only want to face the basket. They don't want to play with their back to the basket. Right. But we got a couple girls here that still are pretty dominant when they get down in the block. I want to see her step outside and start shooting them three balls, you know. Uh, <laughs> I know you don't need her to. And you stay right where you're I'm just kidding, of course. You stay right where you're at doing what you do in the paint and making things happen. And, and drawing the fouls, you know, you may not hit the free throw, but every foul that the other team hurts them in a way. You know, mm -hmm. it's a negative for them, so a positive for us. But, well, Coach, uh, you're going to face a team that we've played faced twice this year. We've beaten them quite handily. Uh, is there anything you do differently this time of year moving into the region against a team you've seen like this twice? And uh, I guess it makes it easy. You don't have to go scout a lot. Did you go watch them live uh, Monday night when they played? I did. Uh, I rode over to Ray County, and I got there at the end of the first quarter of McMahon Walker. That's who we play next. Right. Truth is, I was really, you know, the next game is the most important. So you might as well forget about talking too much about down the road because yeah. I've seen a lot of people count their chickens before they hatch, and they end up getting disappointed. Obviously, we're supposed to beat McMinn County and beat them big. We beat them by 40 at their place, roughly. And 
I don't know, high 40s at our place. They've yeah. lost a point guard since then. Yeah. She's moved away from McMinn County to some other area, and um, so they've lost a girl who did the majority of their scoring. And so we are heavily favored. But I watched that game, but I really went to watch Ray in Cleveland. I had not seen Ray all year. Yeah, so they played, them, yeah. they played right after that. And uh, uh, McMinn County is, uh, we've got them, you know, we, we're a little bit bigger and a little bit faster and a little bit uh, more seasoned, I should say, in these positions. So I'm expecting our girls to come out and take care of business. It's a week off. You alluded to that later, a little bit ago. Tati can probably tell you our practices are not quite as long as they were. Right. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but we're still trying to get better. You're not careful. You're not careful. You'll just go through the motions and you'll, you'll get, you'll think you're working hard, but the speed of the game is what the difference is. Mm -hmm. You got to have both. So I don't really like the week off, but it is what it is. And we're playing a team that we should handle. And like I said last week, if they're not ready for Friday night, I'll be the one to blame, not them. I'll be the one. Well, I, I mentioned this, I think, with Zach's show last week, going back about upsets. And the last time that the Barretts did not make the regional tournament was 1984. It's going back 40, 40, 40 years, I guess. And the reason they didn't is we lost a game 43 to 41 right here in what was known then as the Bradley Fieldhouse. It wasn't Jim Smitty Arena at the time. Bradley Fieldhouse, to a team that won two games the entire year, we lost the, the uh, elimination game in the first round of the district to a team on our floor in the first round to a team that won two games. Yeah, I've heard their a lot third about win that, was yeah. us. Yeah. And they moved on. It was through. We're finished, you know. Yeah. So anything can happen. It's crazy. So uh, everybody's got to be aware. Uh, 1984. Yeah. That was Cleveland, wasn't it? Yes, sure it was. Bradley was heavily, heavily favored. Absolutely. And uh, – I think these girls, you guys, you all understand this. Whoever loses this game is done. Yeah. Friday. Mm -hmm. And is it going to be the Barrettes? No way? I don't think so. Pinky promise? Pinky promise. All right, mm -hmm. you got it. Y'all saw it. I got a okay, promise. Coach. Uh, all we got to do is take care of business and, and uh, get a win here. And we're at home. You know, we haven't missed that, but we're going to play uh, Friday night. 7 o'clock, one game here at Bradley. It'll be a girls' game only as the region first round and second place out of the district will host games. Cleveland will host. Bradley girls will host here at home. Cleveland host at Raider Arena. And the Walker Valley girls will be on the road to East Hamilton, I guess it will be. Is that where they're headed? Lady Raiders? Yeah. No, no. East uh, Walker Valley. Where are they headed? Walker Valley is headed to East Hamilton. East Hamilton. They'll be on the road yeah. Friday night. That's every team in the state, every public school team in the state is playing at 7 o'clock. Friday night girls. Girls. Saturday night the boys. Bradley Saturday night boys really. it doesn't matter if you're if it's seven o'clock central, wherever you're at. Seven, seven o'clock on the time. And then uh, the boys play Saturday, first set that's quarterfinals. Then Monday you got the girls semifinals. So as long as we win, we don't win our season's over. Right. You won't be coming watching us play. But as long as we win, we play again here Monday. Final the semifinals. Six o'clock. And then the boys, if they win, they play here. Tuesday. Tuesday, yeah. And then the region finals for the girls is Wednesday, boys is Thursday. There it is. That's the layout there. And all those games will be broadcast on Mix 104.1 or the Buzz 101.3 as we'll follow all of our teams into the to the end of the season. And we hope somebody's going to win seven games from this point forward. Somebody's going to win seven games and be crowned state champions. So why not us is all I say. Why not us? We know how it's done. We was there last year. We had some big wins. We had some really tough, tight wins. Uh, just like we did in 2019 when uh, Lombard hit the game-winning goal oh, yeah. there. And, uh, it won't – seven games doesn't sound like much, but it'll be – things will have to go – Exponentially yeah, tougher. They'll get tougher. And, and people may not realize that, you know, you think that you see these movie scenes where people rise up and play the game of their life to win the championship, you know. I'm not saying that that's not somewhat realistic, but – at this point, the Barrettes could play average basketball and win a state championship. I may have told you this already. We could play average and win it. If we play above average, I really like our chances. But what we can't do is play poorly. If you have a right. real poor night, your season won't come to an end. A poor quarter could cost you. A poor quarter, yeah. Uh, uh, we just have to be solid, and, and you're going to make mistakes. This team has 277 turnovers on 28 games. That's just, Less might as well say 10. Yeah. We need to keep that number down around 10. 
If you have a night where you have 15, 16, it could be over with. One play could be it. But you can't dwell on that, Gary. We talk about it all the time. Everybody makes mistakes. You've got to learn from it, move on, throw it away, and move on. So, Well, there's a reason the Bears have won the state title last year and the reason they're still number one in the state this year. You're playing, uh, you have, you're scoring more points than any team in the state. I looked at that the other day. We're the number one offense in the state. Really? I didn't realize Our that. schedule's the toughest in the state, according to uh, Max Preps and Coach T and people like that. And you're ranked 25th in the nation uh, by Max Preps, and that's one of those, and you know, who knows what the team over here is. We'll take it. We, yeah, we'll take it. The recognition's there. And yeah. it, it's, a, it's respect that you get for your program and for the players you have, like Tatiana and play, players like that, and we know you got a whole host of youngsters going to be playing college ball. I don't know how you're going to keep up with all of it, but uh, I try to keep up with them down. It's hard right now to keep it up is. with some of those yeah, because there's is. so much going on and, and so forth. That's a great thing and the kind of situation that it, a lot of people dream about, but the dreams come true here at Bradley. We're going to keep them coming through. True. Been blessed. Have a lot of talent. we got a lot of talent here. And this girl next to me is who wouldn't be in this position without her. And uh, yeah, looking forward to the future. I'm excited about uh, this postseason tournament. Uh, you know, the tournament time, it's a different feel. When you step out there in an elimination game mm -hmm. Friday night, they may not know it yet, but I know it because I've been doing it so long. They will be a different feel because this is somebody's turning their uniform in after tonight. Exactly. And yeah. I think we'll be very confident, not cocky, but confident coming in. Well, the good thing, talking about Tatiana here, she's just a junior. We got her again next <laughs> year. So uh, keep up the good work. You know, let's coach, let's stay injury free the rest of the tournament now and, and just do our thing, do our thing. And I think we'll be okay and be successful. And, and we'll play Friday night, tomorrow night, tomorrow night, seven o'clock right here at Bradley Central. Be there, Bear Nation. Let's do it on Mix 1041 if you're not. And we'll move on and hopefully to Monday night. Hope to see you. Come out and support us. It makes a difference. Uh, girls play harder when you're here. And uh, we, you know, I've said before, Bradley Central, we, we the Barrett basketball program, uh, has a following that's it's it's very solid and uh, people know that so come out and and take a friend and come out and have a hot dog and a, and a, watch a, some girls basketball i think it'll be uh, worth your eight bucks to get in we'll do this thing again next week so until then this is gary Omi as the host for coach reuter and tatiana stovall thank you for being here tonight thank you for having me. and coach we'll see you tomorrow night at friday central here until next time god bless and go bear it.